Hey guys, MEP Guy here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to draw the vent system for this sanitary layout inside of Revit. Enjoy! So we're going to start over here by the showers, and I'm just going to go ahead and start drawing some pipes. So I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut. We're going to make sure the system type is vent, and I'm going to go from 9 foot 6, and we're going to go down into this pipe right here. So I'm going to go about the middle of this wall, and we'll just go right down to that piece of pipe. And as you can see, if we zoom in here on a 3D view, the vent piping gets drawn with this fitting in between the sanitary system and the vent system, which is important because the systems need to be separated for them to show up correctly. So I'm going to click on the vent system piping and we're going to go to piping systems and I'm going to go ahead and change the graphic overrides. So I'm going to use the color that I typically use for my vent systems and I'm just going to change the pattern to 330 second dash. Click OK. And that's kind of more what I'm used to working with in Revit. So now we have this first vent piping and this is actually called a circuit vent and I go over how to use circuit vents in my course plumbing 101 but for now we're just actually going to move this vent over here and then I'm just going to continue drawing my vent piping over here for these urinals and water closets. So let's select that piece of piping and let's just kind of turn our view so we can really see these things in action. So the first vents I'm going to do on this little run out is these right here so I'm going to change these to T's real quick. So we'll just click the plus right there. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to start drawing piping up first. So let's just right click and draw pipe. Make sure we're on the vent system. As you can see, we're not, it won't let us change that, but that's okay. So we'll go to nine foot six, and then we're gonna go off this direction right here, just like that. Now, anytime you need to break the systems, you just break the piping just like that. And now I can go ahead and change the system to vent. And then we just have to make that connection again. Just like that. Now we have this piece over here. We can just trim these together just like that. And that's looking pretty good. Now for this one, I could do it a couple different ways, but I actually am gonna use this piece right here. And we're just gonna go into the floor plan view. I'm gonna copy it from this location right here. And we're gonna copy it down to that location. And then we'll connect this pipe just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and delete this piece. And then we'll trim this one to this one and then we'll trim this one to this one. And that's looking pretty good. Now we can flip the fittings to anything we like, but I'm actually gonna change my routing preferences now to a sanitary T. So we'll go to the pipe right here, at the type, and I'm going to go to routing preferences. And then I'm actually going to delete this one, and we're gonna change this one from the T sanitary to the T vent. And we'll click OK, click OK. And as you can see, there's kind of this elbow that thinks it's on the sanitary system. We can get rid of that by just clicking one of the pluses. And you can see it now is using this vent T as my routing preferences. So now I can easily just change this one to my T vent. And that's a uh, more standard type of vent. So this is looking pretty good. I'm going to continue over to my water closets right here. So there are a couple ways to do this. now. Usually, or we can use uh, closet carriers, but for this, I'm gonna show you how to use them without closet carriers first. So let's start at our last fixture, and I wanna start at this location over here. So I'm gonna actually start drawing some piping. Again, we'll create similar, so it's at nine foot six. And I'm just gonna start it from up here, and we'll try to get to the middle of this pipe, just about right there, and that looks good. Now, this is not really the fitting we wanna use. We wanna use a sanitary T. So we'll use our T reducing sanitary, and that looks much better. And now we want to essentially move this piping right here over, just like that. And now we can go ahead and connect this one into these. So let's just drag it over, zoom in here, and we'll make that connection. And everything's looking pretty good. So now that we have this one right here, we can use the copy command and copy this location for each one. So I'm gonna click it right here in the 3D view. Well, let's go ahead and connect these by using the trim command. And then we'll select this vent piping right here, click into our floor plan, and let's go ahead and use copy and make sure multiple is selected. And we'll go from the back of each water closet, and that way we have our vent fittings in the exact same location for each one. So now we can just quickly use our trim extend command, and we can tee these into here, just like that. And that one came in backwards, but we can use the flip command. And then I'm gonna change these back, holding control, and we're gonna change it to the T reducing sanitary right here and that looks good now what you can do is if the too far away for you you can always just select each vent right here and now what I can do is I can go to my floor plan 
and we can kind of use the arrow keys to go to the left as far as we want until it breaks and then hit cancel and that will give it the location that's more conducive to how a carrier would look. So we still need to connect these vent pipes over here. Let me go to a little better view so you guys can see these, something like that. And I can just use my trim extend command to connect these together, just like this. So those are looking pretty good. So let's continue over to the next set of water closets now. Now there are some situations where you might want to actually use a water closet carrier. And so I think, you know, this looks totally fine for most of your modeling needs but if you do want to use a closet carrier you can get one from the internet or you can use one that I've created now this one's going to be flow to the right so we'll just drag it into the project and now we have this carrier fitting in our project I'm just going to place it right here and delete it and now that it's in the project I'm going to go over here and we're just going to select all of these combo fittings we'll select all of them we'll filter just the fittings so we'll remove the pipes and now that we have all those selected all we have to do is change it to my carrier fitting. And would you look at that? Now we have nice carriers in our model. Now the nice thing about these little carriers is they also have a little connector right here to draw a pipe. And so we could draw it up to nine foot six, just like that. And then let's go off to this direction holding shift, but it's on the sanitary system. So we need to make sure we break it. And then we'll change this system to the vent system. And now we can connect it back, just like that. So we have all those and we can make the connection over here. Now we need to make sure these are aligned correctly. So let's do that real quick. So let's use our align command and let's make sure we have an alignment from the midpoint over here, here, and then the midpoint right there. So now that these are aligned, we can make sure this connection will work. Let's use our trim command and we'll trim those together. That's looking great. Now we can use the same technique we did with these guys um, to create these vent pipings. So let's click on our vent piping right here. And what we can do is just use our copy command. So we'll go to the floor plan and we'll just copy from this point, make sure multiple is selected over here. And we'll just copy to the center point of these fixtures each time. And as you can see, they're going in the right location. And so now we just need to make sure we connect all of these up. So I'm gonna do that real quick for you guys and fast forward the video. And this is the last one. So we made that connection. Now it's always good to double check that all the connections have been made. So I'm gonna go up to my analyze tab, show disconnects, we'll use pipe, and we just need to make sure that none of these are pointing at the connection where this vent fitting is going, excuse me, vent piping is going into this carrier fitting. So it does look like there are no disconnects there. So everything's looking really good. So we'll turn that back off, okay? And now all we have to do is bring this pipe over. So I'm gonna delete this guy right here. We'll trim this one to this one over here. And we could use our trim extend multiple this time. So I'm gonna click this pipe and then this one, then this one. And sometimes actually the trim extend multiple doesn't work. So you guys just have to use the good old fashioned trim command and trim these guys together, but it doesn't take too long. So everything's looking really good. So I'm pretty happy with the way things are going. Now let's just uh, zoom out here. We might wanna connect our lavatories. So let's go ahead and we'll hover around, orbit around here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start from this fitting right here. So we'll right click on it, draw a pipe. Again, I wanna bring it up to nine foot six, just like that. And then we'll hold shift and we'll bring it over this way. Again, we need to make sure we change the system real quick. So let's click the pipe, change the system to that and then we'll connect this back. That looks good. And then we can trim this into this, just like that. And then we can do the same thing using that copy technique. So maybe I want to copy all three of these pipes right here. So I'm just gonna go to my floor plan, use the copy command, we'll go from the center here, click into the center there, and then we'll make sure we go and connect this piece of pipe right in there. That looks good. And we can trim this into here. That looks pretty good. So we can do it that way, but now that I'm actually looking at this, we can make this connection over here and save some piping right here. So I'm gonna do that. So now I'm just gonna delete this piece. We'll hit this little minus button to heal that back up. And then I'm gonna delete this piece. And this time I'm gonna right click, draw a pipe, and we're gonna go over to the left. We'll hold shift. And then I need to make sure that this pipe right here is lower than this piece so it can make the connection. So maybe we wanna put it at I don't know, eight feet. And then we can use our trim extend command and trim that into that. So that's looking good. And that saves us a little bit of piping. So the contractor will be, or and owner will be a little happier. 
so the last thing we would need to do, well, there's a couple more things we need to do. We need to connect these showers. So let's do that. Let's use the same technique we did last time. So we'll go ahead and start drawing piping from the ceiling first. So we'll click on this piece and we'll create similar. We'll click back into our floor plan and we'll just start maybe at this location right here. And then we'll click it into that piece of pipe. Make sure the right fitting's being used here. That's actually not the right fitting I want to use. I want to use a sanitary T reducing right here. And that looks good. And then I'm just going to align my pipes. So we use our line command, we use the center of this wall to this piece of pipe right here. And then we can easily just delete this fitting. We'll trim this one to this one. And then we'll trim that back into that one, just like that. So that's looking really good. And again, we're using a circuit vent for these shower fixtures. Now the pipe sizing will probably need to be increased to three inches, but I go over that kind of stuff in my course, Plumbing 101, where we really go into the design aspects, the sizing, all these systems and stuff. But I'm for this these videos, I'm just showing you guys the modeling techniques. All right, so let's continue on and let's keep drawing our pipe. So we'll click it from here, we'll add the plus, and we'll right click, draw pipe, and then I'll just continue over here, just like that. Now, these fittings uh, right here, these lavatories, actually have a vent connection to them. So we could use connect into. So we'll click connect into and we'll use this vent connector right there and we'll click on our pipe. And as you can see, Revit will automatically draw some vent piping. Now, a lot of times what we like to do as designers is we like to draw our vent piping at a 45 degree angle so it looks a little better in a floor plan. Because if I show this in medium level of detail, you can see you can't really tell what's going on here. So a lot of times we'll actually let's go to half inch and like like I said you can't really see the vent piping so what we like to do is we like to bring the vent piping to a 45 degree angle so I'm gonna go back to my fine level of detail and I'm just gonna delete this fitting right here and you can click on this piece of pipe and you can actually drag it over 45 degrees just like that and now I can trim these together just like that and that looks much better now we can do the same one with this fitting. We can connect into it. So I'm gonna do that. So from a 3D view, I'm going to, first we need to start this piping this direction. So I'm gonna click this little plus right here. I'm gonna right click, draw a pipe. I'm gonna hold shift. And now that we have this straight piece of pipe, we can use our connect to into again. We use connect into, hit okay. And we'll just draw it just like that. And again, we would need to delete this piece right here. We'll drag this one over to 45 degree angle and then we'll trim these together just like that. And that's essentially it guys. We've basically finished the vent system for this building, but we obviously need the vent through the roof so our plumbing system can breathe. So let's go ahead and pick a spot. Let's just use this middle point right here. You can just click on the pipe itself and I can go to create similar. I can just literally click on that pipe and then to bring it up, we just need to bring it up right here. So I'm actually gonna bring it up to 22 feet because I believe my building was 20 feet high, but we actually might not want to bring it right here because this location right here will be too close to the edge of the building. And so for waterproofing purposes, we wanna bring that vent piping more towards the center. So I'm actually gonna bring it below the ceiling first. That looks good. Well, we gotta bring it below 20 feet. 19 feet's fine. We'll draw a pipe. We're gonna hold shift and we're gonna draw it back into this way and then we'll draw it to 22 feet. Hit apply. And now you can see the piping is making a little offset. So it's more centered into on the roof of our building. So that's, that's how you guys model vent piping. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let's go ahead and take a look at this in a medium level of detail and see what it would look like. And as you can see, you can see the vent piping pretty well and it's pretty clean and consistent. Now there are different techniques where you can use 45 degree angles for all these. But what I would recommend is I would recommend, you know, showing it like this, but just making sure that you guys um, are able to use like an isometric view like this. So it clearly shows the contractor where the vent connections need to be and everything uh, gets done properly. Now, one of the ch most challenging things is how to size a vent system. So I go over all of that in my course, Plumbing 101. And honestly, guys, the reason I'm able to design so fastly or model so fastly inside of Revit is these custom plumbing fixtures. So if you guys are interested in getting these custom plumbing fixtures, you can get them at MEPGuy.com and they come with my course, Plumbing 101. And you'll also get this water closet carrier along with it. So 
The last thing I want to show you guys is how to quickly size the piping right here. I think that the piping for these water closets right here, this main, is going to need to be like three inches. So we can quickly select it. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all this piping right here. We can easily filter out anything except the pipe. So it looks like pipes and pipe fittings are selected. We'll hit OK. And now we can go to the front view right here and we can hold shift and we can just deselect all these pieces right here and then we'll go back to our 3D view and now we have everything that we want three inches selected. So we'll actually add to that selection right here. We could quickly change the size to three inches. Now this might not be the correct size that we need, but I just wanted to show you guys how quickly we can do things inside of Revit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Now in the next video, I'm gonna turn on all of the systems that I've modeled for this project, and we're gonna go over view templates and how you can control the visibility of each system so you can throw all of these plans on a sheet. Thank you.